Hello everyone, welcome to the Henry Ford Academy. My name is Satnam Singh and welcome also to our brand new fully electric Ford Mustang Mach-E. Now in this video, we're gonna explore some scenarios which you may end up finding yourself in around the Mach-E. Now the first scenario we're gonna look at is what do we do when the 12 volt battery becomes discharged? Now on a conventional Ford, um, you obviously grab your key and you find the key blade with inside the key and that key blade allows you access to the key barrel and then you find yourself inside the vehicle. Now on the Mach-E there is no key blade that comes with the key so there's no blade in this key and also there's no key barrel on the door so we have a different procedure in order for us to gain access. Let's take a look. So here we are at the driver's door and as you can clearly see there's no key barrel within the door system. Now the system is designed in such a way that the door control module inside of the door has a, a extraordinarily large capacitor and that capacitor will always charge itself up. So in a situation where the 12 volt battery has become discharged our door control module capacitors will still hold charge. They can hold charge for 48 hours. Now using their charge, we can simply make sure we have the key in our possession and simply press that button and using the energy inside of the capacitor, as you saw, the door opens. We're allowed 20 door opens before the capacitor becomes discharged. Now remember, there's four doors and there's a capacitor inside of each of the doors. So that's 20 attempts to get into press the button, get into the vehicle on each door. If, however, 48 hours have passed, then those capacitors will not be able to hold their charge. So pressing that button to gain access into the vehicle will not work. So in that scenario, we need another solution. So let's go back to the front of the car. Right, so we're here back at the front of the vehicle once again. Now remember, in our scenario, um, 48 hours have passed since the battery, the 12 volt battery became discharged or flat as some people call it. Therefore the capacitors weren't able to hold any charge so pressing the button to gain access to the vehicle did not work. So what we have to do now is to push this cover in the top and once we push that cover in the top like I'm doing here we reveal these two wires, one red and one black get hold of your jump pack or a spare 12 volt battery if you have one. I have a jump pack with me here and connect that like so across our two wires. Now, as soon as I energize the jump pack, the frunk will pop open with a bit of luck. So here we go and it pops open. Now the frunk has popped open. I can open it further to gain access to the 12 volt battery, which is located around here and then charge that battery or jump start the battery, whichever scenario I prefer. And that's how you get access to the vehicle when your 12 volt battery becomes discharged. Now just remember, you only use the front cover if it's been more than 48 hours and the door capacitors have become discharged. And just as a word of warning, when you connect to this towing eye cover to the two wires that you saw earlier, the frunk only opens if the battery is discharged. So there's no way we could have a scenario where there's a thief walking down the road, energizing people's Mac E's and expecting the frunk to open because that won't happen because their batteries will be charged and healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this, this short video useful.